Hello, I would like to discuss three misconceptions about immigration. Misconception number one, countries with a lot of immigrants are likely to suffer. Now, one need only look at the United States to realize that this is wrong. Why is this wrong? Because the United States is arguably the most powerful country in the world and one of the wealthiest countries in the world. Now, if that is not enough, you can look at the wealthiest and safest cities in the world. These include places such as Singapore, Melbourne, Toronto, Vancouver, London, the list goes on. These cities are ranked regularly among not only the wealthiest in the world, but the safest in the world and are of course wonderful to live in. Misconception number two. Immigrants will take advantage of the state. There are two reasons for this. Number one, no self-respecting individual would go to another country to live off benefits. Anybody with any amount of dignity self-respect will do their best to find a job and contribute to the economy. Why? Because this is what normal people do and they want to provide their loved ones and their children with a livelihood. The second reason is that if you look at the facts, I'm taking the UK as an example on average, immigrants are less likely to be unemployed, they are more likely to be highly educated than the average British person, and they are less likely to take benefits. As a result, I think that you can deduce that they are more likely to therefore contribute to the economy than other places. Now this is just the UK, but I think that you'll be able to find similar figures in other places. And certain immigrants groups, such as, you know, people from Mozambique, India, the Gulf states, actually earn significantly more than the average white British person. Okay, and finally, misconception number three. This is very topical, especially given what's uh, going on in Europe at the moment. The miscon third misconception is that European governments will not be able to cope with the influx of immigrants. This is false. Totally, totally false. And I'm taking this figure from... Uh, I beg your pardon. I'm taking this figure from the Financial Times and from the OECD. Now, I feel as though these people know what they're talking about when it comes to the economy. And they have concluded that only next year the German economy will in experience a boost of 0.2% annual growth thanks to the nearly 1 million migrants who have entered the country. Now, you may choose to ignore these facts, but this is true. Now, 0.2% might appear to be low to you, but when zero growth is something that makes the headlines in Europe today, 0.2% is actually pretty good. Uh, not only this, but in the long run, they will enter the workforce. They will become contributing members of, the, of society. And the German economy and the European economy and the world economy by consequence of the Germans being wealthier will benefit. Okay? So these are the facts. You can do with them what you may, but please don't deny them. And stop the hate. Stop this fascistic, racist discourse that we are seeing at the moment. Thank you.